Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is all about the American Express Business Gold Card is offering a huge 175,000 MR point sign up bonus. Reason I have the stack of money and uh, the money back here is because, well, Amex just absolutely loves throwing a lot of money and a lot of points at people to sign up for their cards, the stopwatches here, because it's uh, not going to last forever. So, how long it's going to last and other details? Well, uh, go through in a minute. First, I do have a quick disclaimer. So I am a customer of Amex since 2018. I'm not affiliated with them. Uh, I'm not endorsed by them. This is my own personal review for informational purposes only. Information in this video is uh, current as of time recording. These videos are not short, but they are very profitable. Use this information is at your own risk. This is called fishing and not catching. Does not mean you're gonna get approved. And as is everything in life, your mileage may vary. So, uh, very profitable videos. I do have a $4 million goal for the year 2024. I want to see at least 1,000 people make at least $4,000 off these videos in the year 2024. And you can make at least half of that in this video. So, if you can appreciate profitable content like this on a consistent basis, do me a favor. Hit this video with a huge thumbs up. Appreciate that. So, recently, uh, actually today, I just got this email from Ground Floor. It says, hey, congratulations, John. You successfully invested in the loan. Uh, this address, I put in 50 bucks. I'm making 12.5% back by real estate. So that is a phenomenal email. If you want to make that type of returns, uh, join me at Ground Floor. So they gave me a custom referral link. Groundfloor.us forward slash R for referral forward slash BABC bank account bonus essential 2024. Uh, I have a QR code link in the description box or you could always email me at churningadventures at gmail.com. Recently did an hour long video talking about life lessons with CEO of Ground Floor, Brian Daly. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, link the videos up here. Ton of a lot of really cool information. Uh, second plug is Langley FCU. I love to spend money. We all love spending money. Here is a $50 bonus to uh, get paid. Uh, all you gotta do is do 10 debit card transactions, which you get once you get the Langley debit card, do 10 debit card transactions, get paid 50 bucks. Plus there is $1,000 in credit card funding, which is very profitable. Uh, lots of profitable things in uh, Langley FCU, so link to that video is here. Third one is Moomoo. Um, offer ends at the end of this month, July 31, so not much time to take advantage of a huge $405 uh, get paid not to invest bonus. So link to that video is up there. All right, so moving along. So there are two banking giants primarily that just love throwing huge amounts of money at customers to sign up for their cards, and that would be Chase and Amex. So uh, recently just made this video, the Amex White Gold Card, they recently just uh, pumped up their uh, annual fee to 325 and made a White Gold Card. Full review for that video here, is that worth it, and how do you take advantage of the uh, new benefits if you are a current uh, Amex personal gold customer, um, as my family is, so link to that video here. So there are five cards I would trust to travel just because they're travel insurance. Amex Platinum, Amex Gold, the personal version, uh, Chase Sapphire Preferred, Chase Sapphire Reserve, and Chase Inc. Preferred. They have the, the best uh, insurance coverage out there, period. Um, so something to consider, and I'm talking about like flying type trips. Uh, so there's two parts to every credit card offer you want to consider. Number one is the sign up offer, why you get the card. Number two, the points multipliers, why you use the card. And you want to get at least $500 in value, no matter what card you're signing up for. If you're not getting paid at least $500, bucks, you are not getting a good card. So here is the Amex Business Gold Card, which you're used to seeing, a sleek metal card with rewards as good as gold. They do have an annual fee of $375, which we will talk about. Um, if you're, I've gone into a few email debates over um, uh, annual fees and... I just say my family spends over $1,000 in annual fees per year. Why? Because we get outside value with these cards. And uh, for a list of that, Chase Sapphire Preferred, I have one. My wife has one. That's $95 each. That's, um, that would be $190. Uh, my math's off right there. Uh, Capital One Venture is $95. Amex Gold Personal, $250. Amex Gold Business, I got mine before they bumped up their uh, annual fee hike. Uh, that's $295, Chase Inc. Premier $195. So the total is actually uh, $1,020. So there is that. So we spend over $1,000, as I said, and for each of these cards, we have outsized value. So you're used to seeing the Amex Gold 
uh, business gold card. They also have the rose gold card and they also match paste with the personal card. I didn't know this, but I'm gonna make a phone call into Amex and request the white gold. Why? Because it's something different. So the most important thing about getting a credit card is what color it is. So white gold is like the new thing, I guess. All right, so link to this offer is right here. I don't think anybody actually wants to open up a new tab and start typing all this stuff in. So I got a QR code for you, link in the description box down below, or if you're interested in taking advantage of it, you can always email me at churningadventures at gmail.com. Uh, if you hit that link, you're gonna, you should see this. Instead of 100,000 points, you get 175,000 points. That is a huge offering. I got super excited last January when I got into this card for a 100,000 point offer. So you can get in for 175,000 points. So a lot of benefits to this card, which we're gonna talk about. So the points, they have an MR uh, points calculator. So if you're just cashing them out for cash, that's the worst way to do it. That's $600, you only get 0.6 cents per point, which is, um, yeah, not so good, not so much. $1,000 on flights, book through Amex uh, Express Travel. So um, I know people will say, hey, if you transfer to different partners, you can get a lot more in value, sure, but I don't really play that game. There's all the YouTube channels that talk about that. Uh, $700 towards Amazon, or my favorite way to redeem this is a thousand, uh, one cents equals one point. Uh, for gift cards, I use, I spent like over $1,200 just to get a uh, generator because we have hurricanes in the Houston area. Another way to take advantage of it is uh, if you have the Amex business checking account, you can get 10,000 points equals $80, which is better, a uh, better -er way to take advantage of your points. So you get 0.8 cents per point here, which is not the worst thing you can do. I've earned 110,650 uh, points since January 1, which all has been spent. I got 650 left. All right, so the points multipliers on this card. So we looked at the first part of any credit card deal, which is your points, uh, your sign-up bonus, which is huge, 175,000 points. That does not count. You do need to spend 15,000 on that, so you're going to get at least 15,000 on top of that. So you're talking at least 190,000 points if you just get the one cents per point. But they do have four point multipliers. Uh, your top two categories, wherever you spend the most money on, purchase at U.S. Me purchases at U.S. media providers for advertising. It's like media, so online, like Google Ads. TV, radio ads, stuff like that. U.S. purchases made from electronic goods retailers and software and cloud systems providers. That kind of sounds like Best Buy and stuff like that. Uh, U.S. purchases at restaurants, including takeout and delivery. Gas stations, transit, including trains, taxi cabs, rideshare services, uh, ferries, tolls, parking, buses, subways. So if you do a lot of driving, you do a lot of tollways, this could be a really useful card for that. Monthly wireless uh, telephone service, so if you spend a lot of money on cell phones and, and telephones and stuff like that, you can get 4x points up to your first 150000 in combined purchases from all those categories each calendar year. And then after that's 1x points uh, afterwards. So if you max out $150,000 times 4x, that's 600,000 points, that's $6,000, which is a huge amount if you spend in those categories. So how you earn 4x on your top two eligible categories just went over that. Um, 3x on flights and prepaid hotels, 1x on all eligible purchases. So now uh, there are credits which do offset the annual fee. We'll talk about those. My favorite one is the $240 flexible business credit. So that works for FedEx, Grubhub, and Office Supply Stores. My favorite is uh, I get gift cards from Office Depot and it counts. So in June, uh, I got $25 uh, Lowe's gift card and I got back literally the same day $20 from the flexible business credit. Uh, Office Depot 332, uh, I spent 20 bucks plus some other stuff at Office Depot, I got $20 back. Uh, there's also a monthly Walmart Plus membership. So Walmart Plus is awesome. We have a number of Walmarts close to where I live, so Walmart Plus almost seems as fast as ordering a pizza. Um, so they got me for the annual fee, and then I said, hey, no, 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 you keep the same car, just hit me on a monthly fee, and you'll see here that I got dinged uh, July 19th, $14.02 for Walmart Plus, and then the very same day, $14.02 got uh, refunded back. So their credits are ridiculously fast, the fastest you can possibly be. Another profitable benefit is pay over time, 0% APR for uh, first six months. For eligible uh, for purchases eligible for pay over time, 
So that's uh, huge there. Business cards do not count against 524, do not show up on your personal credit report. So something to consider there. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can email me, I'll explain that more. And then the coolest thing is know if you're approved without it impacting your credit score. So if you hit apply now, you can get decisions at as little as 30 seconds. If you don't get approved, you don't get a hard pull. So that's really cool. Once again, if you're interested in taking advantage of this huge 175,000 point offer, for the Amex Business Gold Card, here is the link here, link in the description box down below, QR code, or you could always email me at churningadventures at gmail.com. How long will this offer last? I have no idea, but it's not gonna last forever. Power ranking this uh, bonus. Uh, I do power ranking based upon math and not based upon feeling. I am a high school math teacher. So your sign up bonus is at least $1,750 plus the 15,000 points for the $15,000 in spend you got to do on this. Um, that's max points. That's six. That's over 501. So we are definitely maxed out there. 4X multipliers gets five points. And then um, if you do the math, so 1,750 divided by 15,000, that's 11.66 return on spend. That's two points here. But since this uh, sign up bonus is so huge, I gave it a, a grading on a curve. We're doing the new math. So grading on a curve, we gave a two point bonus for such a huge sign up bonus. That's 15 points. That is top shelf supremo category. Definitely worth considering. Uh, bank account bonus central verdict. MX business gold card is a solid offer, especially with the 175,000 uh, point bonus. Uh, you should easily be able to get at least 2,000 in value uh, just in the points once this uh, spend is added in, if you get some of those Forex categories especially. The monthly credits do offset the annual fee. This card's a no-brainer, at least for a year one. Join me at Amex was a very profitable opportunity. So I uh, still have comments off for these videos, but if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, you could always email me at churningadventures at gmail.com and I'll get back to you. So today's question, what does it look like to be blessed by God? So interesting question. People say, God bless you. And what does that actually mean? What is the blessing of God? People sin and sin is not cool because there's guilt and shame associated with that. Uh, the joy of forgiveness is the biggest blessing of God. Blessed is he whose sins are forgiven. That's Psalm 32, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. So David, he committed adultery and uh, murder. And when I kept silent, when he didn't uh, confess his sin, his bones grew old through groaning all day long. It does not sound like fun. For day and night, God's hand was heavy on him. My vitality is turn into a drought of summer so it does not sound like fun but blessed is he whose sins are forgiven additional information about that gotquestions.org how to get right with god link in the description box down below if you're still here with me definitely appreciate it videos are not short but then again hey it's also profitable content so if you uh, appreciate the profitable content on a consistent basis do me a favor hit this video with a huge thumbs up share this with anybody who would be able to benefit from it subscribe with bell notifications so you could be amongst the first to learn about such profitable opportunities with that, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace, and may God bless you.